Hi friends. We're in a continuation video. I'm getting on Route 52 or 14. Don't let that screw you up. We've just come out from downtown 4th Street, the end of the clinic at Pill Hill, up 4th Street, down 6, two major coordinates, and we're heading on Route 52. I'm going south. Very important street to note going north and south because it's one of your major coordinates in town. And uh, a mini highway you're going to be on all the time if you live here because a whole lot of things point A to point B happen on this route. <clears throat> so I just passed the JWs or the Jehovah Witness. We're just about to come up on the exit to the mall. I do it never on mall. I'm not so sure there's a lot to write home about in it, but a few cornerstones, a few cornerstone stores. So you'll see that's 14. Remember that in your repertoire, one of the midlines, sort of the midline grid, 14 Broadway and 52, sort of the, the, the cross on your on your map. And those should all stay in your brain when you think about Rochester. We don't have any fancy, fun, curvy streets. There's a few fun surprises like Maywood Road, but unless you get out of town, you're in a straight square made up city based on numbers, streets and avenues. 16th Street, Street's a key. It's in a lot of my videos because Trader Joe's is on there for you healthy people. Um, Panera Bread, a couple of key hotels. It crosses town easy. The back side of the mall is on there. Sometimes you want to go the back side of the mall because it's easier than going in on the front side. <clears throat> and I'm heading up to the key street a lot of my videos start and stop on Broadway. I'm on 52 South heading to Broadway. Lots of people live on 50, 52 North on 35th, 41st, 55th Street. It's all sprawl, brand new, uh, brand new materials, no sustainable housing, no green housing, no renewed materials, all just straight carbon copy, cookie cutter sprawl, nothing remarkable, not even tasteful. The whole northwest corridor is just suburban houses. You can see them everywhere. In 20 years, they're going to look like crap. Where we just came from, Pill Hill, the previous video, gorgeous old homes, 100, 150 year old homes, beautiful, well kept, the old, uh, the homes that can hold up over time. But a whole lot of what's being built here and the new complexes won't hold up over time. Well, if you want to watch my introductory video, I can say that because I've spent the past 22 years in the Green Building Movement with a postdoctorate master's in environmental law, uh, doing green building, sustainable building, the well building standard, the lead environmental uh, green certification, working with U.S. Green Building Council, and I have spoken all over the country for American Institute of Architects on the well building standard and how we can create buildings that are healthy to live in and that contribute to our health, not retract from it. And these, these new apartment buildings, they're emitting gross materials. They smell when they're brand new. The carpets don't hold up over time. And that's about that. Lots of them are new because there's a gross amount of construction going on. None of it that has any taste. You'll see brick on Broadway. Ugh, just ugly. The Boulders is interesting. If you want to live more in a townhome and you want to feel a little bit more like you have your own place, Vista at South Broadway and the Boulders community do that. You might want to look at them note there's a whole lot of apartment videos on this channel it's especially important for people moving here and working and living or patients who need specialty uh, requirements for their physical needs in a home good air stairs no stairs pool no pool fitness center no fitness center so keep your eye out for those i've got one on the boulders sob rock on maine preserve on maine vista at south broadway the Maven, Residence at Discovery Square, Red 44, and then I'll get to the Northwest Quadrant. For those of you that love junking in suburbia and sprawl, I don't have any apartment complexes on my list to do there yet, but I will. Um, I'm likely to do some about the hotels if you need to be a patient or with someone. They're pretty accurate what you see online, but be very careful of the lower end ones because we're allowing substandard housing recipients 
in unusual section eight and immigrants to stay and that I don't mean that negatively in any way except for that the languages some of them are cooking the rooms or smoking the local kids who get to stay there that are semi homeless I think red roof red carpeted is it there's a couple that have been slammed for noise for drugs all sorts of weird stuff not going to happen at the main ones and the clinic is pretty careful about taking them off the list but if you're on hotels.com you don't have any way to know that okay we're on broadway heading north tons of my videos start at this coordinate because i live here and head into the clinic and that's important because if you're heading into the clinic you always want to know what you're up against at any time of day and this coordinate is particularly busy only because we have culver's and one of the menards here and a brand new decorating store called the at home store it's like hobby lobby on steroids without the christian uh, motif behind it and really cool stuff very affordable this particular store for those of you moving here is designed for small apartment living so they have lots of things for the apartment dweller or some of the other at home stores that like i've been to in cleveland are designed for large homes so they have a lot of small stuff here that's important i think they got wind of that we're an, an uber transient community from residents mayo clinic students you know there's a lot of professions that study at the clinic besides doctors whether it's nurse anesthetists nurses med tech search tech rad tech ultrasound a lot of people filter through there on internships and stuff so we have a lot of apartment dwellers and i'm looking you're looking at vista at south broadway it has its own video it's one of the nicest complexes in the entire Rochester area, and it is gated. For those of you that need that, or for women like me who are survivors, you want a gate to at least give you the semblance of security, and uh, it does that. Three sides of this complex are looking at woods or fields, and you don't see that unless you get to the northwest or the southwest side. And right now we're pretty close to town, so that's important. And I'll talk to you guys later. Please like and subscribe. I'm 65 years old and I want the support. I'm trying to get the 4,000 hours and 1,000 views. I really appreciate it. You can ask me what you want to see. If you're looking at an apartment or a complex and you want to see it firsthand, I'd be happy to go out in my car and show you. Bye-bye.